I was an environmental scientist for 30 years and I identified a cancer cluster in our children in my neighborhood, in my town. As an environmental consultant, one of my functions was to take in data that other companies had collected and evaluated. And I opened up the data and found that there were very high levels of PFAS chemicals in the groundwater and some of the drinking water around this landfill. The state tried to hide it from the public. And so I remember specifically sitting at my table with the data, looking at it, going, I know this is bad. I can't just sit back and let this happen in my own community. I knew that I was the only one with a background that could really make sure that something happened and decided, even though I wasn't a politician by background and never thought would do it, um, ran for office, a state level seat and won and went about trying to make some change to look at what environmental triggers could be contributing to these really high rates of cancer in the state of New Hampshire. No one in the State House knew what PFAS even was. Through the work of the legislative process, they actually educated people on what PFAS was, how important it is to regulate it. And then in June of 2018, our governor did sign into law my bill, which is now resulting in the strictest enforceable drinking water standards in the nation for four PFAS chemicals. Unfortunately, the minute those went into effect, 3M sued the state of New Hampshire. So that's where we are right now in the process. But I know people who have lost children in my community to this, um, to horrible um, cancers, and I know lots of people who have cancer in our state. This is a massive issue that is unfolding. I feel like we're f just peeling the layers of the onion back now and, and finding out where all of these issues exist already and have been for decades. I fight because I feel like I have the background that's necessary to provide the scientific facts and the justification to help people to prevent cancer in the state of New Hampshire.